At this point, Sam questions whether hyper-efficient vehicles like Aptera are even necessary. In a world with abundant electricity, this is a fair question and one that reveals a deeper misunderstanding of design intent. Because even in a future where energy is cheap and plentiful, efficiency still matters. Every watt by a vehicle like Aptera is a watt that can power a home, reduce grid strain, accelerate renewable transition elsewhere. And there's another assumption hidden in the argument that solar will always be abundant where and when it's needed. But the grid really doesn't work like that. Even with surplus solar at noon, there's no guarantee every car will be parked near a charger at that exact moment. Aptera isn't about scarcity, it's about wisdom. It's about designing for uncertainty and thriving in it, treating energy as precious, not because we have to, but because we can. What would an ultra high efficiency vehicle like an Aptera become if battery tech keeps improving at this rate? Unnecessary. Yeah, it's a good point. You actually, you raise a really good point because I love the Aptera car. I drove one of yeah. them. They're, they're great. And I really want them to succeed. I think they're a fantastic company, but ultimately that concept makes sense if batteries are expensive. If they're not, it's not, doesn't really. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then if, if batteries are so cheap, right? Does solar power vehicle like Graptera represent something to you? Or you're just like, yeah, we no. don't even need to put solar on a car anymore. No, you're right. And their solar panels, what the work they've done on them is incredible. I mean, the fact that they've come up there with their own chemistry to enable those panels to be thin and to be flexible. And it's amazing what they've done. But unfortunately, the truth is they're going to use solar paint. Companies will just simply use solar paint if it's used. I'm not sure it's necessary, but I mean, if it's very, very cheap, which I think it eventually will be, obviously Mercedes-Benz is using that solar paint. I think that would be really the best solution because it's extremely lightweight, thin, it's um, easily easily applied, really, really easily applied. So that's what I see happening in the future. I think cars will have solar paint, like a solar thin film PV applied to the outside of the car. But the Aptera concept is great, but it's a little bit too labor intensive and expensive. And it's, I, don't, I don't think that's the future, but I, I love what they've done though. I hope, I hope it works.